doing uh, this problem on adding and subtracting rational expressions, you can see we have 4n over 9m to the third minus 5 over 15m n squared. The first thing we need to do is we need to get a least common denominator. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my, my denominator. So what I have right now 9 third, which I'm going to rewrite as 3 times 3 m to the third, and then I have 15 m squared, so this is 3 times 5 m n squared, and I'm going to rewrite this here. That way I have all my exponents. So I'm going to look at these, and my goal is that I'm going to look at each one of these, so this and this, and I'm going to compare item by item, and I want to take the uh, exponent that's the highest. So here I have a 1, because there's nothing here, and a 2, so I take the 2. Then here I have a 5 to the 1 and nothing here, so I have to take the 5. Then I look at my m's. My highest m is the m to the third, so that's what I take. No n here, n to the second, so that's what I take. So my LCD now is 9, 3 squared, times 4, 45, m to the n squared, so dd. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at the two denominators that I have. So I have m to the third and 5n squared. So I have 9m to the third. What do I need to times it by to get 45m to the third n? So well, what am I missing? My 9, to get a 45, I need to times it by a 5. Okay, So I'm going to need to times this by 5. I already have the m to the third, but I'm missing the n squared. Now I'm going to go to the second one and I'm going to do the same thing. 15 m, what am I missing? 15, what do I need to times it by to get 45? Well, I need a 3. Okay, I have 1 m, I have 3 up here, so I need 2 more m's, 3 minus 1, and I have the n's. So, this now, I'm going to go back to my original problem. So, what did I have? I forgot what I had. I had 4 n over 9 minus 5, 15 n squared. So I'm going to take these and do 5n squared over 5n squared. Now remember, you can do whatever you want. I'm trying to get this, I'm trying to get my least common denominator, but if I do it to the bottom, I must do it to the top. And this over here, I'm squared. And I'm going to combine this. So here I have 20n to the third, 45 squared, n squared. So that's 4, so 4 times 5 is 20, n to 1 times n to the third gives me n to the second. I use my exponent rules, I add them, and I did my combining. Over here, I'm going to do, and what was I, right? Yep, yeah, get my original problem here. My 15 to the, I think I have 2, right? I don't like how this is breaking that on me here. Okay, n squared. And again, over my whole, so that's a 3. So now I combine my numerators. And this is my answer. But when I look at this, I go, can I reduce this? Well, I have, if I look at this, I can see I can pull a 5 out of this here. And I can also pull a 5, so then I'm these two 5s, and I'm left with 4, 3, m squared, third, and this is my final answer. So this was right, I just need to shrink this. Um, and I was able to pull something out. You always want to check on that last step to see if you can simplify this, though I can't do anything more to the numerator because I have unlike terms, and I can only cancel across multiplication. I can do this because I can pull it out of both and turn it into multiplication. Down here, I can't cancel any m's or n's because I can't pull them out of both. They're not multiplied, they're added, and you never want to cancel across addition or subtraction.